Right, hi everyone, this is my second video of today, and uh, I was at my local game <coughs> store, so as I said previously, I've got a cold, so bear, just bear with me. I went to my previous uh, war game store, and I picked up this, the, and it drops the commander for 10 million, uh, um, War game and uh, well, it retails at fifteen pounds. I picked the set for thirteen fifty, so I think it's a really reasonable uh, price. Uh, the guy himself pretty much done most of the work of the painting of uh, uh, pretty much most of the models as well. And uh, as you can see from inside the front cover. Uh, it's not completely the way I'd like it. Hold on a sec. Really nice stuff. Well, hopefully, get this one right there. Um, very well laid out. Uh, I'm liking the look of this. I've just started reading through it, and some of the background and that, and uh, there's a rather a picture I've got my fingers in the way, so I do apologise, but there's uh, four factions, there's uh, two human factions, and uh, two uh, alien factions, and yeah. Yeah, this is pretty impressive. It's from a new games company. Uh, if I can get that whole war games, I'll try that just to make picks it up. It's, uh, and, uh, it's an impressive ass, uh, first game from them. Uh, from the models themselves as well. So there's more models there. As you can uh, see, and uh, I checked the website, and uh, uh, UK prices ain't bad. It's between ten to twenty quid, and uh, you know, from a single large model, uh, you know, like uh, what I showed you about on the second page. Where you can see it uh, to. Uh, a pack of three models for a tenner or something like that. I think it's pretty good value for money. It probably costs you for a full army something like uh, 200, 250 quid, which ain't too bad, to be honest. You do get a lot of models for that. But I mean, you can even play it, you know, skirmish battle, so it wouldn't cost you as much. Probably around about 100. But, uh, yeah, I like the uh, setup and the, the format of it, um, battle groups and stuff like that. Uh, the only problem with this book is there's no real index, and I really wish they did that. And uh, other than that, I, I really believe it's a really great first effort. You can even, from their website, um, War, Hawk War Games, you can even download some uh, building templates where you can either print it off of, onto paper or card and, um, uh, you know, cut them out and uh, um, use them uh, for your uh, buildings, for your games, which I think is great and it's free as well. Uh, uh, really great. Uh, I would obviously I would suggest you know really a uh, quite sturdy card and then um, put it on that and then you know um, uh, put them together or you could actually put it on paper and glue it onto card but uh, it's down to individual really and yeah it, <laughs> the lyrics pretty good uh was itself overall look pretty clear, uh, not as bad as the um, Malifaux's rule book, which is just uh, like an old VHS um, technical manual, um, although my head exploded because I read that book, it was just 
horribly written out when it came to the rules. But, um, yeah, with this one, um, well, honestly, it doesn't look so bad, to be honest. And it's just, you know, so many uh, pictures of the uh, different, you know, tanks and stuff like that. Uh, uh, on the back, it does say, you know, it's set in the 20th century. The game must be designed around the concept of rapid deployment and redeployment of your forces by airborne dropships and something alongside the speed of combat on the battlefield of the future. This makes for a tough or fast paced experience where quick thinking strengths of genius often bring victory. That's very warm machines to be at the stores of this not the the importance of the humble infantry man. Inside your friend, all the rules you need to get playing as well as all this list for all four factions. You also find hundreds of images as well as all the background for this and so the new game, the only universe. Wow, yeah, they really have got a lot of other, as I've shown you a few, a lot of photos, a hell of a lot. And so I've only just started to um, um, look at this. Uh, uh, but, but it's something that I, when I do get the, uh, shop up and running, I'll probably more than likely stop this with a few of the, uh, model stuff as well. Uh, and, uh, uh, probably they will expand it beyond the four, uh, uh, factions over time. But yeah, it really is an impressive looking game, there's even more stuff there, you know, hopefully, you know, you can make it out, although sometimes it's not the best quality up close with my other camera on laptop, but, uh, still, uh, and it uses cards as well, oh, to see a few of the cards, if I can just, yeah, because I've got the cards yet, let's see if we take it, hold on. Right. Oh. There they are. Yeah, trying to get them into uh there, so good you see the cards, but uh yeah, like uh I'm trying to see a few other games and use cards to uh, help the game along. Uh there's nothing wrong with it, and it seems to be a fair few systems of doing that way. Uh, but, uh, yeah, some excellent looking models, uh... Um, there as well, uh... They do have one faction called the Scourge, which, uh... Yeah, it's, it's okay, man, but every time, you know, when, when I think of the Scourge, I'm just thinking of the StarCraft games, so I do wish they, uh, picked a bit more of an original name than that, but, uh, oh, just a personal quibble for me. Uh, but yeah, then let's get to the, uh, quickly, because I'm already running at eight minutes, so yeah, another four page picture, actually. To be honest, I can't see myself. So I'm trying to get it so that uh, people can see clearly. I tried to get you know, level as well as a bit of a pain. But oh, uh, yeah, it's impressive looking, I'll give you that. Uh, at some point, yeah, definitely will have a game with this. I'm going to put it on the back burner because I've got other, so many other games and so many other, other armies that need to uh, sort it out and paint them, which we'll be doing shortly after I finish this video. But we've got a uh, 12, um, you know, scenarios. Um, there's 24 variants on the scenarios, which I think is pretty good. Uh, table size is 4 foot by 4 foot minimum, uh, that probably be uh, great on a 6 foot by 4 foot table, 
as uh, you can start off with a skirmish game, which is about 500 points, but probably recommended is around about 2,000 points. You recommend but to be honest. Uh, <coughs> but uh, I would be if it's uh, you know beyond the table size of 4.4. I believe for that extra, each extra two foot or something, you add a, um, uh, extra turn to the game length, which an average game length is six turns. And you could, um, uh, you know, just add one, one turn because of the extra size of the table. Um, or you could just decide between yourselves to battle on until one side is pretty much destroyed. Which is what I tend to like doing sometimes rather than having set amount. It should be optional, to be honest, when it comes to set amount of game terms. Uh, most games are over within that, that amount of time anyway. Uh, I still feel, you know, it should be optional. It should, uh, you know, carry on until it, uh, uh, once it gives up. But, uh, yeah, there's just so many. Also, I want background as well, so I don't know what it picked up. Actually, it picked up all right. Wonderful medals for this. I'm pretty impressed with uh, uh, what they've got in the book. And it covers a lot of background and stuff. I can't go into here, it's just to look at it. Really. Uh, more pictures. <laughs> It, honestly, by the looks of things, I do feel this is worth a look, most definitely. This is a use CM unit. There. Right. You know, this is a human um, uh, army. Uh, I can't remember the. The name in the background, uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter because I'm there, you know, I'm out of time a bit, but uh, I'll try to get through and finish this. Uh, yeah, I will see uh, some pictures of a different size. Iris, as you can see, the biggest one at the bottom, obviously, medium size, and the skirmish size. <laughs> uh, also, there is uh, colour schemes as well. Uh, it really is an awesome book. And uh, Scourge stuff is another amazing model there. Um, really want to get this under the 15 minutes, and I don't think I'm going to do it, but I'm wrong. Um, also, Post Human Republic, which is reminiscent, it just feels a little reminiscent of the. Uh, uh, how really in 40k okay, just just reminds me a little bit of that just a bit but uh still yeah looks <laughs> just looks awesome it really does and i'm looking forward to playing it eventually which i really don't know when uh i'll skip those bits and the chateau touch chateau trump sorry and, uh, which is, looks like that, on, on legs, three legs, trumpeting legs and stuff. Um, my verdict on this, uh, uh, really great game. If I just by the look of it, just by what I've been looking at so far, I would give it about 8 out of 10. Uh, really well laid out, uh, it uh, looks fairly well written, to be honest. Uh, I've read a bit of background stuff and a few of the rules, and it looks pretty straightforward, the game, and I would actually recommend this to anyone that's thinking about, uh, you know, a, a sci-fi real game, but they want to try some other than the Games Workshop stuff, or, you know, anything else, you know, something different. 
definitely recommended and it's called Not So Commander. And until next time.